Okay, so uh, my people from the UK, and this is why I like to talk to people all over the world because it's stuff that goes on that I would never have a clue about. You know what I'm saying? So my people from the UK, they send me a clip and they say, hey, Bruce, I want I want to send you something. I want you to uh, speak on it when you're done. So they sent me this clip. And when I watched it, it was this uh, it was this uh, incident that happened in uh, Coventry City over there in the UK where a large group, of, uh, a mob of white people chased two black men into a corner and was hurling rocks, glass bottles and racial slurs at them to the point that the police had to come in and create a wall to protect them. And they said their reason for doing so was that these two men brandish a weapon. But when the cops checked them, no weapon was found. Now, I don't know how dumb people think people are, but it doesn't make any sense at all. If you're gonna be two people that's gonna come up here and I guess disturb another group or this gathering or something like that, why would you be the only two people that will come to a group that's laced with 300, three, I don't know how many people, I mean, how many people's over there? A thousand, eight hundred, you know what I'm saying? Two thousand, three thousand? Like, why would you go out there and be completely outnumbered and brandish a weapon so you could get chased in the corner and have that shit happen to you that did? And I, and if the police wasn't there, something would have happened worse. Who does that? Who does that? You know what I'm saying? So now y'all committing hate crimes over there in the UK. This is what y'all don't know. It's a mob of white individuals, okay, who chased these two black men into a corner. Now, the excuse you gave already, that doesn't make sense. Now, it just so happens, when you go and watch this clip, you guys are out there stomping and talking about burning Black Lives Matter um, uh, little poster boards and, you know what I'm saying, and all that stuff. You're talking about burning that. So, I would be un- unintelligent if I couldn't make the correlation between you sitting out there stomping on Black Lives Matter Um, posters and whatever and whatnot and then make a correlation with y'all chasing two black men into a a mob of white people chasing two black men into a corner okay and what are the coincidences given the circumstances of what's currently going on in this world why of all times would something like this happen now why of all times something like this happen now but y'all gonna you gotta treat it like this is not a hate crime. Y'all gonna try to treat it like this is not race related. I just put this up here because when I say, when I bring up race in boxing and I try to break shit down, I'm not sensitive like y'all. I'm really breaking it down of the elements that exist in this world. And the reason why I like all this, cause this is a prime example of what actually exists. And you think this don't bleed through on sports and it does, okay? This is no different than when Jack Johnson knocked out a white opponent, okay, and a white mob took to the street and started hanging black women and children and men. That's a historical fact. You can go look it up. It's not a myth, okay, just from winning a boxing match, okay? Now, all because this George Floyd shit and Anthony Joshua taking his stands, y'all running through the streets, chasing down black men, putting them... You can't say that's not what it is. I don't care how you try to... Come on here, get in the comments and say, oh, Bruce, where are we? it's not like that. You know what? You know why it is like that? Because even those of you that are not with this shit and does not like this shit, you remain silent about the shit. See, it's not enough for you to speak out against the shit. Y'all do the shit on my channel all the time, okay? I watch y'all walk past racism like it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it does not bother you when it's inflicting on another person. You know, and some of you been with me a long time. You seen you seen this shit happen since the beginning of my channel. I ain't never said nothing sideways to nobody. I ain't never said anything racist to anybody ever. But I got racism from every color coat down the line. Okay, name them. Asian, white, this, this, that. Name them. Right on down the line. For what? Talking about boxing. This is why I highlight this shit. This is why I talk this shit. Like I said, this make y'all uncomfortable. Because y'all don't want to face it. I didn't grow up with this problem. Okay? We look shit straight in the eye. We don't play with it. In UK, this is what y'all out there doing. 
you, you can't tell me this is not what you're doing because that's what you're doing. Okay? It's documented. This ain't weeks old. Okay? This ain't months old. This ain't years old. And like I said, what is the coincidence that all this stuff is going on and all this stuff going on and you guys just so happen one big giant white crowd just happened to be chasing two black men okay into a corner and if it was just about them having a knife and this ever and whatever whatnot what was with all the racial slurs while you was hurling bricks and bottles at and notice you were throwing bricks and bottles at the cops and you didn't get arrested the people who they were protecting did. Who's Van Amon? Oh, one more thing. Please notice they say that they was mad at Anthony Joshua because he was breaking the quarantine rules over there and he wasn't staying at home and following rules. Then what the fuck was this, UK? You see, where was the outcry? What it looks like to me is when it seems to be like something that you want to gather for in large numbers, it's okay and y'all not gonna say anything, but if it's somebody else, then it's they're not following quarantine orders. I would just constantly point out the contradiction and the hypocritical bullshit that they throw up and how it's not good enough to even present to somebody who has half a brain cell because it doesn't take much to figure out what is exactly what's going on and what you guys are doing. You know, now this is what you really need to think about that I'm going to exit stage left after this. This is what they do after George Floyd. OK, this is the best representation that they can tell you that they don't give a damn what happens to you. Anytime something has happened to you, they have always shown you their ass. Always, except for the individuals that's marching with people who are against racism. You know what I'm saying? But of course, those people are bullied. You know what I'm saying? And they're counted out. So you have those that don't want to be wearing this shame of racism. Then you got some people who just don't want to give it up. The point is, it's not enough of the good people to escape the fact that the majority of you likes this shit. You know? And I only talk this to you guys. I don't talk this to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? And by mean you, I mean you. Okay, because it doesn't matter. They see exactly what happens to you. They know what happens to you. Okay, they turn a blind eye, play deaf and dumb. Most of them. Okay, so as long as they can make money off of you, as long as they can get rich off of you, as long as you can entertain them, as long as you can be a service for them or be a service to them, you you can do all that. But as far as your self-respect and you getting shot down in the street, they could give a fuck less. What other examples do you need? And this is the crazy part. They have a black champion. Do you think he's not paying attention? Like I said, Joshua, offers on the table. <laughs>